Uh, Panthers at Raiders. We have the Raiders coming in favored by six uh, with a 40 point over under. Um, not too much going on here in this game. I only have my must starts as Brock Bowers and Devontae Adams uh, going up against this defense. Uh, a couple guys that I want to talk about here. Uh, let's start with Samir White um, going up against this Panthers. I think this is kind of a get right game for him, for those white truthers out there. Uh, you know, I've been off this boat, but where do you have Zamir White uh, this week uh, against this Panthers defense? Uh, I have him at, at, at RB 28. And the caveat of this is he's a sit for me, but it's the Panthers. So if you're in a, if you lost Pacheco, you know, if you've got a bad feeling about Javante Williams or the Broncos running back room, then I do think you, you kind of have to start white. And this is probably the only week that you can go to your bench and say, this is the one time I think it's going to go right for him because it's the Panthers. But if you have other options, he's still a sit for me. Um, I, I, look, everybody wants to talk about Sam Darnold and what it's going to mean for the receiving core and all these statistics for when he's been in there before and how much better it's going to be. I'm not buying any of that. I'm sitting every single Panther that I possibly can. I want absolutely nothing to do with it. And I just, I just don't see a way where it goes right for them on the road. The Raiders are, I mean, Max Crosby's a game wrecker. Max Crosby and Christian Wilkinson are game wreckers. So I don't, yeah. don't put them in your lineup, guys. Unless Crosby is a little questionable. To. We'll see what happens if he's going to play yeah, or not. But, yeah. you know, we know he's a warrior. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, either way, I still have White uh, down here um, as well, too. Uh, uh, I have him at 32, so I don't think 28 was real bad. But we have him kind of down in that same uh, yeah. type of area. Uh, and it's, it just goes to show you, though, playing against this Panthers defense, um, you know, I still don't even really trust it. So, uh, we'll see. I might be wrong, but again, I, I'm personally not starting them, uh, either. Uh, so let's move on here. Um, uh, next person I do want to talk about, um, of course, the big news in this game is, um, obviously, you know, Bryce Young getting the, ugh, and, uh, it's going to be Andy Dalton at the helm. So with this change at quarterback, uh, what are your thoughts on Deontay Johnson? Does he creep back up into a starting role or do you want to see it first? I need, I need a week. I, I was kind of what I was just alluding to, right? Like I think a lot of people have gone through some of the stats and said, you know, when Dalton's come into other teams, you know what it's meant or when, you know, I think for me, I, I just can't, I have Deontay Johnson right now at 35 and I think that's probably too high because I realized I did these rankings a little bit earlier in the week. So with some of the news that's come out, I have Demarcus Robinson ahead of him right now because of the volume that I think he's going to get in that Rams game from Stafford. So that answers your question right there. I don't think you're starting Deontay Johnson unless you absolutely have to. I have him in uh, one of my main dynasty leagues and he's benched this week. I'm I'm, I'm going to roll a different route. So Yeah, I have him at wide receiver 30, uh, 38. Interestingly enough, one spot ahead of Demarcus Robinson. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but go. yeah, I kind of have him about in that range. Um, you know, just if Bose is healthy in that Niner game, which we'll get into here in a little bit, um, it might be a little rough uh, with, with the offensive line injuries they're dealing with yeah. uh, for Robinson even to do anything this week uh, personally. But uh, we'll talk about that a little later. Uh, let's get into another back here. Um, on the other side of the ball, Chuba Hubbard, or I guess technically on the same side of the ball, but I was just talking about the Niners. Um, yeah. Chuba Hubbard, um, where are we going with him? Is he startable? I mean, I like his passing game usage, um, but again, going up against the Raiders defense, where are we, where are we at with Chuba? I have him at RB32, sandwiched in between Austin Eckler and uh, Zeke. So no, because of the ranking, I don't think he's a start, but I do think if it's again, if it's kind of that break glass in case of emergency situation because of the passing game usage in a full PPR league, I think he has more value in a half. And then obviously in a standard league, I'm, I'm, I'm going a different route. Okay. Uh, where did you say you had him again? One number two. Oh, okay. So I actually have him at 27, um, but I have one spot ahead of Zeke and one spot ahead of Eckler. Uh, just again, going up this, you know, Las Vegas defense and uh, those two guys kind of, you know, having a split field. And I just think, you know, uh, they're, Dallas isn't going to run the ball uh, much over there against Baltimore. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I just figured Hubbard might have a chance to uh, to get some work on the ground here, although they kind of bottled up Henry last week with that Raiders D. So, we'll, yeah. you know, yeah. we'll see. Um, so good stuff. Um, so that's who I had kind of discussed in this game. I had my sits as Gardner, Madison, Myers, Tucker, Andy Dalton, uh, Miles Sanders, Xavier Leggett, uh, John Tavian Sanders. I'm not starting any of those guys really in this uh, in this game. 
Uh, anybody there that you want to talk about or you're ready to move on? No, I just want to say one quick thing in the betting line, right? I think if you looked at last night's game, the over under was 40, 38 or 40 points and it was 24 to three. I see this game going very similar. I think it hits the under and I think the Raiders are, I think the Raiders cover in this one. Okay. Yeah. Raiders plus six or yeah. minus six favored minus by six, six. Yeah, uh, with that 40 point over under. Yeah. All right. So good stuff. All right. So let's uh, move it.